Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We are finally back here with Luna and Sol and you guys, oh my gosh, are loving their adventures and I'm loving it too. So we're here with Luna and her mate Sol and we are still trying to gather up enough points in our pack stats. We want to see our experience points get all the way up to about, what was it? I think we are aiming for 50,000. That's right. We're aiming for 50,000 points, which is a lot more than what we currently have. But we're going to find some other wolves. I think we're going to head back to Amethyst Mountain, actually, because I think those are like the most laid back of the, all the wolves. So let's run back to Amethyst Mountain. It looks really awesome in the distance. And that's where we, like, if we were going to set up. Uh... Oh, can you get him, Sol? Sol, get the coyote! Get the coyote! Nope. <laughs> Instead, Sol totally just like veered off. Whoop, and we ran into a tree. That's fine. All right, let's slow down for a minute. Just walk our way over to the mountain. And then we're going to roam around the mountain, interacting with all the wolves that we can find over there because that will really help us establish our dominance in the area. <laughs> Look at Sol. He's just so excited. He's like, are we going to run yet? Are we going to run yet? All right, we'll run. He's so hyper. I think he has a lot more agility than we do. A lot more stamina, at least. Look at him go! He's just like a puppy. Soul, get it! Soul, get the rabbit! Get the rabbit, Soul! Okay, fine, I'll get the rabbit. If I can ever catch up to it. Nope. We're not very fast, poor Luna. <laughs> Being quick is not exactly her thing. Okay, we're almost to the mountain. It takes a while to get there, my gosh. Alright, Soul, where are you going? He doesn't know where he's going, but we're off on a nice walk. Woof. <laughs> we're on a nice walk through the, the mountains, through the forest, and we're going to find our way over to the other wolves, challenge them. What I think we'll do is we'll just constantly circle the mountain and try to... Soul, look at you. This isn't an agility course. Oh, that's Laris. Oh, okay. Let's avoid the, uh, let's avoid the grizzly. Easy there. Wait for our stamina to go back up so we can really start running. There we go. Alright, are we getting close? What is our scent do you see? Nothing yet. I see a very excited soul. It's interesting how he doesn't leave a scent trail. Oh, there we go. Now we're in we've entered another wolf's territory. So, we'll follow the scent trail, but I really hope that we find food first. Because that little smidgen of health we've lost and running up here could be the difference. Oh, it's, it's a female specimen. Oh, she looks kind of tough. All right, I wonder if we'll be able to take her on. All right. Um, we need to be pretty firm. I need, I need to really stand my ground. So you're not my family. Morning. No, you can't be a boss. I want to be boss. Go for it. Go for it, Luna. Good job, Luna. Don't you... Come on, just submit. No, you're not boss. I am boss. Back off. We really have to let her know that we're boss. So that we can have this territory. Oh, she gave in already! Alright, leave now! This is our territory. And it seems really... Like, a few people who are new to understanding wolves might think, Oh, this is, like, really mean. This isn't how dogs act. And no, it's not how dogs act. Because these aren't dogs. These are wolves. And the difference between establishing our territory and chasing off any other wolves that might be in the area is the difference in being able to have a, a pack survive. Trying to have a lot of other wolves in the area is just going to get any of the, the pups that we try to have uh, at risk because they're not going to be able to have enough food. Speaking of food, let's work our way over to this elk carcass that I see over here. And then once we eat, there it is. Yeah. So once we practice the really wonky running back and forth that it seems to take. All right. Can I get it now? No. Okay. What if I get salt? Every time I'm really trying to like back up and figure out how to eat, he tends to run into me. Oh, there's there's a grizzly bear trying to come for the salt carcass. No. Oops. Soul. I almost had it. Did you see that soul? Oh, I got it. Yay. We can eat. All right. Just a couple bites. Come on, soul. We're going to go back out of the territory because we're going to go in and out of the same territory and I think that is what will really trigger it so that more wolves go, hey, she left the territory and try to enter this zone. Are you so excited, Sol? All right, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. This may take a while. 
establishing our line, but it's supposed to be totally worth it because if we take the time to get all these points, then we can have a rare white puppy. So it could be like a special, special, get him, Soul, get him! Ah, oh, Soul. <laughs> Somehow I feel like we're going to be the ones carrying the, uh, the weight in this, in this pack. We might have to be the better hunter. I'm not sure if that's the case. For those of you guys who are really into wolves, uh, what wolf is normally the best hunter in a pack? Is it the alpha male? The alpha female? Is it one of the the other wolves in the pack who aren't the alphas? There we go. So we're back in the wolf territory. We're going to avoid that grizzly bear. We do not want to run into that grizzly bear. Ah, there we go. Good, so this will work. Alright, now we're going to run back up to challenge again. We just have to follow the yellow dotted lines. Soul, are you scouting out scouting out where the competition is? Alright, we'll have to walk for a second because we're low on stamina. Come on. Alright, Luna, you can do it. And after we chase this wolf off. Oh, so they're actually over by some more elk carcasses, but that's gonna make things a little easier. It's a male specimen. Hey, I wanna be boss. No, you're not boss. You're not boss, we're boss. Get out of here. He looks very similar to us, actually. Alright. Ah, oh, he gave in. Okay, and now you're gonna leave. Luna, look at you. You're becoming such a strong leader. And now he ran off. <gasps> Did you see that, Soul? Alright, let's see what our pack stats are. Are we becoming a more famous pack? We are! Look at that! We're almost halfway there. That's fantastic. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long while of roaming this territory, but I think we'll be able to do it. In fact, I have an idea. All right. Oh, hang on, Sol. I almost had it. Sol, I think you pushed me again. He's just so. Oh, he's so dorky. I'm so glad that we ended up with him as our mate because he just seems like such a dork. All right. Let's get some of this elk up and a little bit more there we go so I wonder if elk is a lot more common than say um, deer in Yellowstone because here the wolves or coyotes would probably be going after all the deer or the hare which there's an abundant amount of but oh okay are we out of the other wolf territory I think we are let's see what happens yeah? Yeah! Alright! So here's a Mel Coyote's trail. And here we go, already. Good, so I think what we'll do is we'll hug the back of um, Amethyst Mountain, like where we just were at. And then we can go in and out of the pack territory a lot easier. Alright, here we go! Specimen male! Hey you! You're not my family. Oh, I'm not boss. Oh, wow, he didn't even... He's like, uh-uh. Get going. All right, Shu, come on. You're definitely... Yeah, he's out of here. Wow, that took nothing. Luna's reputation, like, is totally preceding her. So now what are our pack stats? Look at that. See, now we're up to 20,000. So we're really clipping along. All right, so we've got this. If we're lucky, we might be able to get uh, much further along. And hopefully that'll let us get closer to puppy time. Ah, so you're like right where I need to go. He's so funny. All right. Not a lot of undergrowth in this forest, so I wonder what the heck the, the elk are eating. Maybe just the, the tree branches themselves. <laughs> Speaking of trees, Soul, that was a tree. You don't want to run right into it, buddy. Oh well. Alright, good. So we're at the edge of the mountain. Now we turn around and re-enter this territory. There's a little coyote. He's like, run for it! She's coming back! There we go. And now we get our scent, scent view on. There's plenty of elk nearby for eating. In fact, we might even nibble on one. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So let's nibble on this one and then go find that other wolf. 
Alright, well, I don't know if we need to nibble on this one just yet. Okay, we'll look for the wolf first. Hey, where'd it go? Is it leading this way? Or is it going to get fainter? Ah, it got fainter. Okay, so the trail is going this way. I see now. Like I thought. So come on, let's go, buddy. He's like, we found him! Alright, where is he? Is it another specimen? I hope it'll be worth it to have all the experience points for a special puppy. This wolf is like far away, my gosh. There's a coyote. Not a smart place to be, Mr. Coyote. Ah, here we go. The sensor's starting to converge. Is it that same male? All right, you. You're not family. Yeah, that's right, you're not boss. Get going. And again, it may seem mean, but this is the way it works. This is the way, like, the wilds work. You don't have the wolves sticking around and, like, being best friends and things like that. That's just not what happens. Alright, so we're it's about 2,000 each time. Whew, that's a lot of work to do. Let's see, let's go this way. Alright, come on, Sol. But this is a journey that Luna and Sol will only make once in their lifetime, so I don't mind taking the time to roam around and hopefully get them some more points, establish more territory. That's a bear. They probably don't need to be establishing themselves with a bear. Let's see. Yeah, good. Alright. So speaking of wolves, have you guys heard about the gray wolf that managed to make her way all the way down into Arizona, the mountains in Arizona? And she that's really far from any of their currently protected homes. So she was called Echo, and she was noted to be uh, just such a revolutionary wolf. She was really rewriting what people currently knew about where wolves would go, what their territory would be, how far they would roam, because she was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles from her original territory. And she was very important in giving a conservationist a glimmer of hope about where, oh, here we go. Is it the same one? We're just chasing the same poor, poor wolf like all over the place. That's right, you're not boss. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Echo was very important for conservationists because she represented a future where wolves might be reintroduced to more of their natural habitat, which for some, for people who are really into like cattle ranching and things like that, that makes them very upset, the idea that they might be a lot of, a lot of ranchers at least, that they, that wolves might be re returned to their natural habitat. Uh, range, but it might bode very well for some collapsing ecosystems that need to have their apex predators put back in place. Now, an apex predator, if that's a new, if that's a new phrase you're not familiar with, is it gone? Which way is it gone? Up here, I think. But an apex predator is one of the the top predators of an area. So it's a predator that. Oh, actually, I think it's going this way. Oh wow, we were just over here. No? This way? Oh my gosh! The scent trails are all over the place! But yeah, an apex predator is- oh! And they vanished! What the heck was that, Soul? Let's get out of the territory and try again. It might have still been related to the wolf that we were just tracking, maybe? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna follow these up here. But yeah, an apex predator is a predator who's very, very important. They're at the top of the food chain for the uh, ecosystem that they're in. An ecosystem is an area of land or water where all of the animals are kind of interconnected. And in this case, it would be like the trees. Oh, here we go. And here's another one. But I want to be boss. Oh, wow. Luna's not wasting any time. It's this one again. Oh, we hadn't eaten! Okay. 
Very important not to die. Hey, you. Oh my gosh, okay. Seriously, that's right, you better give in. Leave now! Luna's not having any of your nonsense. Alright, good, good. Wonderful, Luna, where are we? Look at that, we're halfway there, you guys! Yes! Alright, and now we figured out how to make this go quickly, too. So let's go find some, some elk to eat, and then get him out of the territory. Because Luna's really hurt. But speaking of elk, it would be like this grass and these trees would be uh, like the plant part of the ecosystem. And the, an the animals that would eat the grass and trees would be the next link, like the hare. The hare would be the next link in the chain. And the owls might be connected to that. And, uh, you know, the grizzly bear or foxes or coyotes might be connected to the hare because they eat the hare who eats the grass. And then you just kind of build your way up. So what is going to eat the fox or the coyote? It might be the wolf. And so you can see the link in the chain of the ecosystem right there. And you can see right here, we're eating as much of the, the elk carcass as we can. There we go. We cleaned that one pretty good. I think there's still a little bit of muscle on it though. All right, so where would be the nearest exit? Let's go this way. But when you remove an apex predator from that link, say you took out the wolves and then the coyotes are just abundant because they don't have anybody hunting them anymore no predator trying to eat them anymore eh, eh, eh. Huh? well i'm pushing this coyote around but i can't i can't get him oh that's funny all right well we'll leave him alone i guess we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with him oh and we're ready to go back in the territory but yeah when you have that happen then say there's no predator for the coyotes. There's nothing killing the coyotes. Well, the coyotes are going to just breed and breed and breed because they don't have anybody killing them. It would just be limited by what resources, how much food they could have and how much space they could have. And coyotes are excellent scavengers, so they could probably go a very, very, very long time before the food sources got really low. But the coyote population skyrockets because there's no predator to eat them. And then that means that the, the bunny population, the hare population, is going to nosedive because there's so many coyotes eating all of the bunnies because the coyotes have no predator. And you can start seeing how everything is kind of interconnected. So take out the coyote, and now you just have the bunnies. Well, now the rabbits would be eating everything. They would be overeating all of uh, the plant matter, and then there wouldn't be enough plant matter for the other animals to eat. And the more you research about ecosystems, the more you can start seeing how everything is very intricately interconnected. You remove one species, and the others can often have a very difficult time finding any sense of balance, or even become endangered entirely. Hmm. Okay, Luna, I was really worried about it for a second, but he gave in finally. That's right, back off. Back off. And that's true not even for the predator and prey species, but if you remove a plant species as well. So say a tree species goes extinct from um, being overlogged, or a, and what's very common nowadays is for an invasive species, usually from China, to be brought into the United States and kill off a bunch of the trees. And that's happening all over the United States right now, and quite a few areas. Oh look, there's, is that an elk carcass? Tell me the, the bear that normally guards this thing's gone. Looks like the bear's gone. All right, let's see if we can get a nibble. As difficult as the nibbling may be, I kind of have to go by the, the neck area lately. Oh, there's a coyote. Back off, coyote. This is mine. Soul. Why is it so hard to eat sometimes, Soul? You have to have the little green icon pop up or else Luna cannot eat. All right, let's try this. No. All right, let's run over here. Wonky. Oh, 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 Soul, I had it for just a second. Did you see that, Soul? All right, back up. Gotcha. Oh, look at the hair. The hair is like, ah, I'm so glad that's not me. It's bouncing off. All right, good. Nothing wasted. Waste not, want not, right? All right, I think we can exit. We'll do it one more time. And then I think we'll do a little bit more next time. Yeah, and Luna and Soul will be ready, and we will have the hang of the controls quite a bit, and the hang of how to wolf. 
that we will be able... There, yeah, somebody's like right here. Ah, oh, it's this tough guy again. Hey, I'm boss. No, you are not boss. I'm boss. Back off, buddy. Soul's just watching from the sidelines. He's not the bravest of mates, but he'll do. No. Come on. Back down. That's right. And head out. Yeah, the Amethyst Mountain Wolves don't seem to be- Look at Soul, he's just like nibbling his back leg. Oh my gosh, Soul, you're amazing. The Amethyst Mountain Wolves don't seem to be more of the, the cowardly-ish ones. And that's fine, because again, it's kind of survival of the fittest. They're not going to fight to the death the way the Druid Wolves do down in the, the foothills. So we're able to establish this territory a lot easier. So let's see. We have almost 30,000. All right. Yep. Next time, Luna and Sol will establish some more of their dominance here on Amethyst Mountain. And after that, we'll be able to move on and hopefully get them some wonderful puppies to raise. I hear we need to watch out for eagles. And hopefully we'll, we'll do well. It'll be Luna and Soul's first pack. First puppy pack. And it's not uncommon for uh, an, a couple alphas to stay together through multiple litters. So maybe we'll have, have more litters in the future too. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye